Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I answer a commonly asked question by you, my viewers, and that's how to wash microfiber towels. So microfiber towels or microfiber cloths are an essential tool in every car detailer's arsenal because they're very efficient at picking up dirt, dust, and debris. Now, they're very durable as well, but you gotta take care of them. And today, well, we're gonna see exactly how to do so. Very simple, but you're gonna get all the tips and all the tricks. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day, so let's dig right into it. Today I'm gonna show you how to wash microfiber towels. So as I said in the intro, microfiber towels or microfiber cloths are an essential tool in any car detailer's arsenal, and they're also used in housekeeping, as you probably know. So they're very durable and they're very efficient at what they do. However, it's a very fragile textile, so we have to learn how to take care of them properly and they'll last forever. By the way, don't worry, I'll include all the links to the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And while you're down there after the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. So you'll continue to learn more about car detailing, so products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques. So microfiber towels, what are they made of? Well, they're made from two fibers, most generally speaking, so that would be polyamide and polyester. So those are a lot thinner than a human hair. And of course, well, they're very fragile because we'll see them as some sort of a plastic. So they do have a melting point and that's why heat is their enemy or at least high heat. First of all, we're gonna give you a few tips. So the first tip is to separate the towels or the microfiber towels from any other types of fabrics. You do not wanna mix microfibers with other fabrics because they're very good at picking up lint and obviously you do not want that. Next, you're going to you're going to separate your towels according to what you use them from. So, what I normally do is have a separate pile for anything that's very dirty, such as microfiber towels used for engine bay detailing, for tires and wheels, set that aside. You can have a pile for any towels that you could be using for polishing removal. So stuff like compounds and polishes, they usually contain abrasives and they're gonna clog the fibers. So you don't wanna mix them with towels that you'd have for your interior or for applying waxes or removing paint sealants or ceramic coatings. And next you're gonna have a pile of your cleaner towels. Now, what do you do before we start washing the towels if they're extremely soiled or dirty, such as this one, which has a bit of soiling in it, so a lot of grease, what I recommend is to either dunk them in a um, sink like this that you can fill with a bit of hot, warm water, so not hot water, very important. Uh, just either lukewarm or even cold if you want. So you're gonna dunk those in there or if you have a five gallon bucket, you can fill that up with water as well. And what I recommend is to use something like Optimum Power Clean. So this is a great multi-purpose cleaner slash degreaser, and that's gonna help to start to loosen and break down all those oils and all that excessive dirt from your towels. And then when, of course, they're done soaking for a few hours, just wring them out properly. And then you're gonna take your dirty towels and you're gonna open your washer, throw those in there, and now for the settings, that's the important part. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn the washer on, of course. We're going to select normal cycle. So that's super important because you do want some agitation in the tub itself. Agitation scrubs the fibers and helps to remove all of that stuff. On the temperature control, typically what I'll do is I'll select cold, so cold wash, which is awesome for microfiber towels. And if they're, well, dirtier than usual, you can go up to either semi-warm or warm, but never ever use the hot setting. Why is that? Because typically your water tank in your household is set to roughly 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius, and that's the melting point of microfibers. So you would damage the towels, that's why you never use hot water. So cold is preferable, and you can go up to warm or lukewarm, and that's fine. So you would uh, select the normal cycle, if you do have the option, we're gonna select extra rinse as well. So extra rinse, very, very good to help really release all the dirt and soiling that in, that's inside the towels. So very important as well. If you do have that, activate the option. Next up, 
What are we going to use as far as the detergent goes? Well, you're going to use a very gentle detergent. So something like Tide Free and Gentle or All Free and Clear or whatever you guys have in the countries that you live in. Uh, essentially something that's free of any dyes, any scents, absolutely no fabric softeners in there and no bleach. So as pure as a detergent as you can. And why? Well, the reason is because you do not want to clog the fibers of your microfiber towels with any fabric softener or any other chemicals that can leave a residue on the towel. So that's why we use something that's free of any, again, free of any dyes, free of any scents, free of any fabric softener and free of any bleach. So that's super important. There are also some microfiber specific detergents. So one of my favorite ones is Micro Restore. So this one is very efficient, just uh, a few ounces. Actually, it has a filler right here that's integrated into the bottle. And you pour that directly into your detergent dispenser uh, in your washer. So you don't necessarily have to buy microfiber specific detergents. As I said, you can use something like these Free and Gentle or a Free and Clear. There is another one that I use that's very good. Uh, we have Gion here. This is the uh, towel wash. Again, just a microfiber specific detergent. And another tip that I would have is to take a measuring cup and some white distilled vinegar. So your common household white vinegar. Pour half a cup and you're going to put that in your bleach dispenser or your fabric softener dispenser inside here. So you can come and have a look. So hopefully you guys have this uh, option in your washer. So basically this will release some vinegar during the rinse cycle and help to further release any oils, any dirt or any gunk that might be in the fiber. So again, half a cup in your uh, bleach tray or your fabric softener tray. And then again, in your normal detergent where you're gonna put whatever quantity that is required of your either microfiber specific detergent or your uh, regular laundry detergent as long as you use something that's very gentle. So then you start your cycle, as we said. So the normal cycle, you use either cold or lukewarm to a warm temperature, never hot. You're gonna use extra rinse if you have that and set it and forget it. And then we move on to the drying stage. So you remove your towels, of course, from your washer and you're gonna put them inside the dryer. Of course, quick tip guys, always make sure that your lint trap is free of any lint so that way you have good airflow to increase the efficiency of your dryer. When you turn the dryer on, now here again, the most important is either low heat or no heat. So we're gonna go ahead and select this option here, which is air dry or you guys might have tumble dry. So again, make sure that you use the least amount of heat possible or no heat. So in this case, it just uses the ambient air that blows on the towels and it dries the towels up. So you'll have anywhere from probably half an hour to an hour of a drying cycle. And what I like of using a dryer, well, it recharges that electrostatic cling. So microfibers are known to be very grabby. So they're kind of like little fingers and they have an electrostatic charge on them, which helps to pick up all the dust and dirt. So you do want that. That's an awesome property. And uh, using a dryer usually helps with that. Also, never use dryer sheets or those fabric softener sheets in the dryer. Again, that's a big no-no because that would go ahead and release a chemical that will coat the fibers which you do not want and also that chemical has a tendency to destroy the fibers over time so again no fabric softeners neither in the wash cycle and neither in the drying cycle now if you don't have a dryer or do not want to use one you have the option of using a rack like i have here so you basically are going to let them hang dry so you put them on your towel rack and well that is it Avoid hanging your towels outside because they're going to be picking up a lot of dust from the exterior air. So always hang dry them if you want to inside your home. Just note that they won't feel as nice and plush as if you use a dryer in the lowest possible heat setting or no heat setting. And as you can tell here, well, these ones have just been washed and you can tell just how thick and fluffy those are. So guys, those are the tips and tricks on how to properly wash your microfiber towels. I hope you enjoyed this. By the way, a final tip, I forgot to mention this. When you're using a detergent, always use the liquid forms, never in powder, because powder, again, can clog the fibers of your microfiber towels and could be quite hard to remove during the wash cycle. And if there's any residue of that powder left, 
Well, imagine you can scratch the finish on your paintwork or the uh, piano black finishes, for example, on B-pillars or inside your vehicle. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, show me your support, smash the thumbs up button. Also, I remind you that uh, a couple of the products and equipment that were shown today, I'll leave the links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. Uh, guys, by the way, as you can tell, I have one of the most popular shirts from Pam the Organizer on uh, because it has my motto. So keep it tight and keep it clean, Pan the Organizer, if you want to support me. Uh, well, I have the link in the description for my merch store, so go ahead and cop one of those t-shirts or those hoodies, long sleeve shirts, whatever you guys want. Different models, different logos, bunch of awesome colors. And as I normally say, don't forget to keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.